So once we have coded all the web methods in our web service, ideally we would want to consume these web methods through a client running on some other machine. But before we go there, let's try to quickly validate whether all our methods are giving correct results when we try to consume it using the same machine. So in order to do that, what we really want to do is when we run our project, we want our web service to be, in, to be opened in a web browser which is a default interface that NetBeans provides us using which we can consume these methods. So let's see how to do that. We need to configure our project to launch our web service in a browser. So the steps to do, do that would be, let's copy our service name. So I right click and say copy. Now let's go to project properties and go to run. Here we have to specify the relative URL because it says display browser on run. When we run this, we should display browser, but we have to create a tester before browser opens up. So let's give calculator web service question tester. So we want this project to create a tester for our, for our web service. So let's say, okay. So once we do that, now we can hit the run button. It will compile our project, deploy it, create a relative URL, and we'll be able to see all the four web methods that we have added. First is for subtraction, second for multiplication of integer, third for add integer, fourth is divide. So if you really pay attention, all the method names that are being displayed here, those are the ones that we have annotated. So our original method might have name mul, multiplication, but whatever operation name that we specify here, that actually becomes the method name for the client who consumes our web services. So this browser is actually acting as a client and it is giving us interface to call all the web service methods. So let quick, let's quickly give two parameters. For subtraction, let's give eight and four. Then multiplication also, we give the same parameters, eight and four. Addition, we give eight and four. Ideally, we don't need to give all the parameters at one go, but I quickly want to show you how to test it with all different parameters, eight and four. So now if I hit sub, subtract integers, what we are expecting is 8 minus 4, whatever the outcome that should be displayed to us. So let's hit this button. So it says method parameters. There are two parameters of type int. First is 8, second is 4. And method returned int 4. <laughs> so for now you can skip reading this part. You can focus on first two uh, sections. So first is input parameter, second what output is returned. So let's go back and let's call multiplication 8 into 4 we are getting 32 as a result let's call add integers 8 plus 4 is 12 that's the answer we are getting and divide integers 8 divided by 4 gives us 2 so that's a quick way of testing our web service so next we'll try to consume all these web methods through a client which runs on a remote machine